Let's start building our final periscope. But first, we need some tunes. I'm listening to the Decembrists, by the way, which is an awesome band. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take apart my rough draft periscope and I'm going to use the mirrors out of it. Maybe even I'll use the sides in the back. Not sure yet. So I'm going to start measuring my paper mock-up and I just decide I'm going to use a fresh sheet of cardboard. So here I am laying out all the sides and marking everything out very carefully, being as precise as I can. Now that I have everything marked out, I'm going to cut it out. I'm being very careful to cut right along the lines and being precise as possible. That way when I put it together, everything will line up just a little bit better. Now I'm laying out the length of the periscope, and this one's going to be 8 inches tall because that's going to put it right about where I want my camera to be. Just to save time, I cut the sides and the front and the back just as big long strips. That way I could cut the lengths out. Now I'm going to use my 45 degree triangle, and I'm going to mark where the mirrors are going to be. Now I'm going to make sure that I mark it as a mirror image on each side so that they are opposite each other. That way when I put them together, the white sides will still be out and it'll line up really well. Now I'm using the mirror to figure out how wide the slots need to be that I'm going to cut out of the sides. I ended up messing it up a little bit and they weren't quite right so I made them a lot bigger and I ended up taping them in place to take up the slack just so I could make them a little bit straighter in the end. I use the scissors to kind of stab through to get it started. When you do that, just make sure you don't stab into your finger because that's never a fun day. Now it's time to start taping it all together. And once I have the sides and the front together, I'm gonna to figure out where the hole needs to be, just so that the mirror can see through. Now on the other side, I'm gonna leave it a little bit long for that flap that's gonna fit over my computer just to hold it on. So that's how I'm gonna make sure I'm not using my hands on my design. That might make more sense in just a little bit. Now here it's still going to be a little bit floppy, but as you get the ends on, that's when things start to really stiffen up and that's when it starts to really feel like a box.
So I'm going to use the scissors to just kind of score a little bit of the line. I'm using the non-sharp end just to make sure that it folds where I want it to fold. Now I'm getting the mirrors put into place and we're about to be able to test this sucker out. So I'm going to get my camera going just so I can see how this works. And oh, it works! But it was just a little bit low, so I'm going to add some more tape and make that flap just a little bit shorter. So now it's just about fitting it. Ooh, there we go. As I'm testing this out, I'm seeing there's a lot of cardboard around there. I don't know if I like that. So I'm going to try to cut part of that away and see if that helps. That helps a little bit, but I think I can still get a little bit more out of the way. If you notice, I've been using the pieces I've cut off to trace on the other side. That way both sides end up being even. Pro tip. There's still a little bit of cardboard showing around there, but I think it's good for now. I might work on it more a little bit later. Now it's your turn.